Howdy everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Verinciato. In today's episode, we are finally going to build this one big prairie uh, kind of inspired habitat. Now, um, before we do this, uh, we are getting the animals, and yeah, I I was super, I was super, how to say, I was super dumb in the live stream. I was super, oh god, I cannot even say. Um, Two things. First of all, you guys were absolutely right by telling me that my freaking storage was full. So five animals are left. Um, we do have already some animals. We have one dull sheep, a male one. We do have a, let me just check, a male pronghorn. A female pronghorn, so pronghorn check. Um, and we also have, uh, that's it, okay. So we need um, a female dull sheep and we still need, um, the two. which other ones did we want to have in... I forgot. No, 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 lion. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Um, I think it's easiest to, to give you the no because that is... Uh, oh, wait, no. Actually, no, no, no. You can still make babies, but uh, not with your daughter, please. Uh, it would be amazing. So, Chisulo, what is your what is your partner? Uh, parents, unknown father, children, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, so who is the mama? A baby is a baby the mama. Um, I think a baby is the mama. Okay, so a baby is the only one who can stay safe, uh, and the other ones will now get all the contraceptive, uh, so that our daddy is not. Wait, is it Aluna? Ah, that's that's Aluna. Okay, yeah, well, you can you can do this. So you can have fun with both of them. That's fine, but uh, not with anyone else. That's that's totally awesome. Okay, so let's do it. Um, no, you guys, you guys were totally right that I was stupid to not have the animals uh, or not have any space in my uh, storage. This is what I made now, and now we can actually get these. Uh, so we need a female doll sheep. You know, I'm just going to take that one. Um, and also have this one. Oh, the Gemsbok was the other one we wanted. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take this one first. So at least we have one from female Gemsbok and we need a male one. Um, well, no, that's too much. That's too much. Longevity. Um, let's see if there's... Yeah, I'm gonna adopt this. One. This was working like a charm. Okay, so one thing I did notice is that they won't go together in one habitat Exactly, because the doll sheep is mountain region while the other ones are grassland. So this would actually drive us into some kind of issues. Um, but these issues we are going to tackle with a very easy solution, which I'm hopefully going to be able to do today, because I want to keep this episode a little bit shorter than usual, mostly because my wife has a birthday today. And so that said, I don't want to spend too much time on my computer. Um, but yeah, she's she's away anyways right now um, for shopping. So that's for grocery shopping, I should say. And since this is forbidden to do uh, uh, with two persons at the moment in uh, Germany anyways, it's okay if uh, I stay here, obviously. So that's the reason. And so I'm gonna keep it short and then my computer can do the rest with like cutting the video and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is what's going to happen now. We are going to make like a mixed habitat. So the one side of the habitat will be the prairie grassland and then the other side will be the mountain. And I'm going to try to make like a, a natural border, you know, um, to make sure that this seems like one big habitat, but in total is not. Uh, so we're going to we're going to actually do it that way. We're going to sink this habitat quite a bit in here. So this is going to happen like this. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be the prairie or let's say the, the grassland. And then we're going to put the mountain right here to the right hand side, um, where the doll sheep can be. So the people can actually see all the animals from a great location. And we are going to build a little bit of a, a nice little area for the animals to, to stay and whatever. And the entrance for the staff will be at the same spot. So we are going to make uh, this thing a little mountain over here. And we have to divide this. I guess we are going to do this with uh, with stones and rocks. I think that's the easiest way of doing it uh, in, in terms of uh, yeah the tools we have at hand. Just raise that a little bit, making some plateaus. Uh, here goes and then you know we can also just make this one bigger as well and just drag that out to the left to the back you know they, they don't need too much so that's fine um, and just making sure that there is a little bit of an edge here and we can actually also chisel a little bit in here so we do have like a bit of a flatter edge or whatever you want to call it so there you go um, I'm not even sure if this is going to be exactly enough so maybe we just drag that down a tad bit more 
Here we go. So that's all fine. You know, I'm I'm willing to just kind of make this a bit more, uh, I don't know, rough at this moment, um, because we hopefully will be able to make this all a bit better in the future. Now, what we will do now, we will, first of all, put these two gates down, all connected to that area here. So this gate is going to be here, and the other gate is going to be, let me just rotate it in a way that it works, so here, so we do have both of them. We have a big kitchen there, don't we? Yeah, we do have, so that's all fine. And now I'm going to, first of all, use this one. Uh, can easily go here. Oh god, it's gonna be raining now. Rain is totally fine, you know, I, I can deal with rain. Um, here we go. And you know what I do? I, I just kind of create a very, very, very simple outline now. Uh, just to make sure that I have my habitat set. And then uh, we, can, we can work our way from there. So just like uh, all the way around here. I think I can already... Yeah, let's just go around and then from here I'll go into the invisible barrier. There we go. Just move our way in here. I think... Ah, oh yeah, you know what? We just go that way. It doesn't matter because they won't be able to escape, so we make this habitat bigger than it actually is, but yeah. Uh, so let me see if I can connect this somehow. It, it appears to be working. Let me just check because that's all I need. Uh, is that connected? Yeah, I guess it is. So this is kind of the big habitat, but obviously we don't want that. We do want uh, to separate the habitat a little bit. Um, now, first of all, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a middle segment. Oh, well, that doesn't work, it's too small. Then let's put the segment here. And that's the first thing I'm, I'm doing. I'm just building a wall in the middle here. There we go, this is the wall. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this wood and I'm going to make this and this wood. So it uh, appears to be, wait, no, I, I'm going to make this chain link. Um, so this is going to be part of the building for them. Just raise that a tad bit. So we're going to make like a, a shared shelter. It's going to be a shared shelter here. So it's, it appears even more to be one habitat. And then, yeah, I'm going to keep this like that and I'm going to put another shelter on this side so we can make this also again like this and just move that a bit more in and here goes okay so this is going to be the shared element in here where we will put a few rocks and stuff so we have to see that there is no traversable area available for them and you know what i do and just in order to give me an idea where we where we are at and uh, this is how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna take some of these rocks here and just build them all the way up here. So let's say like this, and we just put that here. And smaller one, bigger one gets here too, just like so. You know, the only idea is um, that they are not able to traverse it. That's that's all we have to do. It's it's the only the only idea uh, is that they cannot traverse it. It doesn't matter if they can go there and look at each other. That's all fine but I, I just want them to not be able to traverse it, that's all. Maybe that little bit down here will be traversable, so we just let me slap some more stones in between. Because I still want to make it look and appear like as if they could go through there, you know? Uh, just to make sure that it doesn't look too, too man-made, if that makes sense, like kind of separated. It's just to give them the actual, you know, they won't kill each other, so it doesn't matter to put them into one habitat each. But, uh, yeah. Uh, wait, is that a gate? Where's the gate? Oh, we could only have one gate. So it, oh god, it got deleted. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now we, now we will be able to have a second one. Uh, let me just get this uh, gate in here. You, you must be... Oh lord, are you telling me that this is... And why is it snowing again in March? I mean, March is still okay. March is okay. I can, I can deal with March. That's somehow at least a little bit realistic. Hello! Can I just... Okay. So. I'm gonna put this down like so. Because I'm too tired of that shit now. Okay, so this is what it is. And then let's make all these things concrete. Or oops, all right. Now let's see if we can connect this somehow by the staff path because I have the feeling that this might be a bit too narrow. 
we can have, we cannot have anything. Oh, well, that does work. So, this this work? Is there any way to connect that? I have the feeling there isn't. So, maybe I need to do it that way. And then, aha, see? I'm the path king. I'm the pathfinder. That is so amazing. Okay, so we made this. Um, okay, let me just check. 10 minutes in, that's all fine. God, I hate that it's snowing right now. I hate it so much. Okay, anyways, we're gonna throw the animals in anyways because I want to make sure that they are appearing in there. Um, we have this thing here, we have that thing here. We're gonna have two keepers um, that take care of it, I guess. But yeah, this is something we will do in a bit. Now, let's see. So, first of all, the two dull sheeps. Um, you, the first one goes in here. And, come on, load the second one. There we go. You're gonna go in here too. Okay, so that's for the dull sheeps. And now, let's go for the Gemsbok. Gemsbok is going to be in here too. And the other Gemsbok as well. Awesome. And now, let's see. They are both put in there. Facility broken down, are you kidding me? Hey, 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 I need my pronghorn. Why'd you go back? Don't go back. So, pronghorn, antilope. What the hell? What's going on here? So, move that one in here. I feel like there's one missing. Ah, I remember what it was. The list got smaller. Okay, so that's the, that's the actual one missing. All right, so this is done. Amazing, amazing. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Facility broken down. I don't care too much about the facility, to be honest. What was broken down? Low welfare, not an ideal temperature. So how about going in then? Oh, I gotta give you a heater just because I can. Here you go. I don't even know if they need a heater here anyways, but I'm gonna, oh, let's wait for the animals to be delivered. And then I guess we will see. Uh, so what we can do in the meantime is we can already put a staff member down, a keeper and another keeper. There's someone delivering some stuff. Uh, so you are going to get a new work zone, which is going to be this work zone. This is doll sheep. And is it you who has no, no work zone? Yeah, that's correct. You're getting... Wait, you're getting this one and these two rooms and this is the prairie. I have no idea how to write that, so I don't care. It's that one. <laughs> uh, uh, grassland. Let's call it grassland. That's easy. I have no idea how to write it in Germany either, so I don't care. Um, okay, so doll sheep is in the, in the zoo. Um, and the other ones are getting delivered right now as well. So what we will do... Oh, look at... Dang it. Ah, okay, it's because of snow. Yeah, we will have to adjust the soil as soon as it stops snowing. That's for certain. Um, okay, but first of all, before we go on, uh, we need to ensure that they have food, okay? So let's go to habitat. I'm quite sure that they all have... Uh, okay, so first of all, let's give them all water. It's going to be here. And they get water. Well, let's put that here. Yeah, I cannot drag that any further to this, but anyways. I think they have this food trough over here, but I'm not sure. So this is why uh, species, sorry. Uh, species is going to be uh, dull sheep. Yeah, okay, they do that, Do have that. The gemsbok, okay, and the pronghorn, and I'm, I'm quite sure they all have the same. Yeah, okay. So, well, water bowl lodge does work for all of them too, but never mind. Um, we're gonna put this here and here. And oh, whatever, I, I don't know. Okay, so never mind. Enrichment item. So I think we can put a rubbing pillar here. I don't know if they like it too. The grazing grass feeder does always work. Um, the grab ball as well. And another grab ball here. Whatever, it's just for the moment, okay? So that's fine. Uh, we can unpause the game. Okay, that's just the bare minimum we needed to do to make sure that our animals don't... So it's May and it's still snow. Yeah, it's the, the game really wants to really annoy me, I guess. Uh, okay, so first of all, let me check the traversal area because I need to see if they can escape. Oh my lord, see? That's what I was about to say. They can pretty much escape over here. Um, there and there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to lower down the terrain here quite dramatically. Same over there. 
and then we are just hoping that they are not able to jump out anymore. So this is this is how it is. Uh, wait, I need to. God, this snow is so annoying. Okay, right. Let's hit play again. I really need to make sure that they cannot escape. Okay, let's see. Oh god, there. <laughs> it's jumping away. It is jumping away. Okay, this is definitely improved. And they can also not go over there into the other one. Awesome. So what about the doll sheep? Uh, let's check for... <sighs> okay, that dude could escape into the other one. Uh-huh. Now, let's pause the game here again. And we definitely need to... Wait. G. That's that's okay. So let's go to nature and put some of the things down. Yeah, these doll sheep can definitely climb a lot better than <laughs> the other animals, and they can definitely jump out of here. Um, so let's see how we can fix that. So maybe like this, and then we're gonna put something else on here. Gonna have a smaller one here, this one there, and then another one goes here, and then something like that over here. Let's see if that did fix it for the moment. Let's see. Okay, there's still one area where I can jump off. And uh, this is going to be then another thing here. Awesome. Okay, so this is how it is. Can the guests actually still see them? So from over here. Yeah, I need to make them all go up this hill, right? So what we do, we're going to put the food on top. And we put everything they are interested in will be on top. So that the guests have a reason. Or actually that the guests see them. So everything they need is going to be on top of the mountain. Also the water. So whatever they need, they can go up there, okay? So the animal, they can get there, right? Yeah, yeah, they can get there. I will definitely have to terraform this a bit better here. So that they are able to reach it. Like this and like that. And then just smooth it a bit. Smooth it easy. Okay, so let's see if that was improving it. Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. Okay, so um, we're gonna make a little bit of a step here as well. So let's see if this helps. Same goes here. So there we go. Might already do the job. Yes, it does do the job. Awesome. Okay, so there's quite a few reasons to go up there. They cannot escape. It's still freaking snowing. Holy moly, macaroni, bamboni, shambuzaloni. I'm not even. I, I'm not even sure what I'm talking of, but anyways, uh, the only question is how to make the education work because obviously whenever I place a board, the education board will tell me to be focusing on the wrong animal. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay. So are you guys liking it in here? Let me, let me just check. So Jacob is not able to escape, right? No, Jacob isn't. So terrain, what about terrain? Too much snow, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, you don't have a hard shelter, you've got too much soil and too less grass short, okay. Uh, you like grass short quite a bit, so this is why. Let me just get back a little bit grass short here. So that's it. I'm not going to make this too crazy, but you know, just like so. Yeah, 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 you will get some, some soil back, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna put the soil back where your little shelter will be. So he goes and a bit like this. Okay, hard shelter will be will be over here. Don't worry about this. Uh, we are 18 minutes in. Okay, that's all pretty much in timing. Um, uh, no. Oh my lord. What was that? You are hungry. Well, why don't you eat something then, huh? Get some food. I tell ya. Okay, so this is done. Um, did you guys like this too? Let me just check. Uh, right, you don't. You don't, okay. So, you need more sand. I think the game's book is totally in the wrong... What is the... What's the... What's the biome? Africa and desert. Yeah, no, that was a clever idea, Rudy. That was a super clever idea. I should have taken another animal, though. Uh, instead of the game's book. So, people, please tell me in the comments which animal we can take. Because... It almost appears that the game's bug was a wrong uh, assumption here. It was be me being stupid, I guess. So what about, I mean, the reindeer would potentially go, I, I, I would guess. And the spring bug will definitely work as well. So Thompson's gazelle, maybe? No, it's also, Thompson's gazelle is also summer, more summer, right? Uh, let's filter for those two guys. 
Uh, Springbok definitely does does work. I'm quite sure. Let's adopt this dude. Um, and uh, reindeer. I don't know what what. Uh, let's adopt this one too. Okay, so Springbok does work. I'm quite sure that this will work. So let's let's get the Springbok in. And we're going further. Uh, I'm, I'm still, you know, the games box still works, uh, but I might just change that to a bit more of a summer, summer-ish habitat. Hello? Where's my spring walk? Hello? Next. Hello? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So, spring walk, move. Come on, do move. Move. There you go. Delivery scheduled. Scheduled. Uh, scheduled. And let's go next. Oh, it, it worked pretty good this time. And uh, this is the other one. Did we? Oh, come on. Right. That's the other one. Okay. Move. And go in. Awesome. Okay, that has been done. Now let's check quickly what the adult sheep does do. The adult sheep is pretty happy indeed. I think we don't even need to do anything about the spring, uh, doll sheep. That is cool. Uh, the only thing we want to do is obviously give them a lot of plants. Because I bet they like uh, North America, Tiger and Tundra. That's something we can do. This fits. Uh, so let's go. Biome, Tiger and Tundra. Continent, North, North America. And then we go to plants. And please don't give me any blueprints. I hate this. I hate that. So, we're gonna put some plants in here to make this all look a lot nicer. Uh, I like these berry bushes. They are pretty small, but they uh, really give a nice little feeling. However, I want to I want to have something kind of bigger because then, first of all, Aliyah is pretty happy about this. Uh, that's very important. Oh, that's what she said. Queen must be happy, you know. Uh, oh god, no Christmas tree. This uh, is some lady fern. Don't we have F F anything else that is a bit more bushy? There we go. Oh god, I, I, I think that was a bit too much. That's what she said. Like, but yeah, Alia, now you're happy. I can, I can reduce it again. Okay. Um, so let me just put some, some kind of stuff in here as well to make it all look a bit more nice, a bit more bushy. Ah, uh, there you go. It's gonna be. It's why is it so dark now? Can it be please next day? God, the the game is really putting me on a on a test here. Really, is annoying me wherever it can. It's uh, it's insane. So, are we now in a dark period? African buffalo. Oh no, don't don't die. So, when is next day? Can it please stop? What time is it? And why is it so dark? Grr. God. I think I never had it that dark. What time is it? 7.30 in the morning. Huh. Animal died. Yeah. Now, can I call the vet? I can. So, what about this? Vet research is done. Uh, oh, by the way, while we look at that, we definitely need to research the, the nude animals. Um. Yeah, no. Okay, that's all done. So, dull sheep. This one. This one. And that one. It's all for our education rating. People are not yet going over here, right? It, it seems that these animals are not as interesting, which, well, um, on a Planet Zoo level, I can understand. What kind of year do we have, by the way? It's just snowing or raining the whole time. I think we have had no sun at all in this year. Um, oh, they all like it. So the Springbok was a good choice. Springbok, the, can we just match them quite a bit better? Let's see. We could at least match... Can we match sand? How is your tolerance and sand? Not that high. Uh, let's see how we can match this a bit better. So we're going to put some sand in here as well. Um, I'm, I'm going to go until the very, very end of the tolerance. Which is... Okay, that was the various tolerance. Okay, that's it. Now let's see how the, the others do. Um, ah, we're not quite there. Not quite there, but soil was a good one. So, okay. I mean, I can, I, I think I can, I can deal with this. Um, what about the, okay, pronghorn. Now that's the springbok. Where are pronghorns? There's our pronghorn. Uh, what about you? 
a little bit too less and too much. But terrain is 87%. That is fine. This is fine. Okay, now we have to look into enrichment. Um, we're gonna put a few things down. I, I mean, they will definitely need more. So we're gonna put a few pieces here and there. And then for the moment, that's all fine. Um, we do have this wonderful shelter piece. And even though this was a reptile house, I'm going to... Hello, is it about to snow? Are you... I'm just pausing the game. I, I cannot stand this at all. Wait a second. Okay, I am going to put this down like this. Uh, let me see. Does it open up to... I'm going to copy it over. And I'm going to just adjust that. I'm going to put this exactly at the... Here we go. At the border. So one... And then I'm going to copy this over and gonna bring this to the other side like this. Uh, wait, why is that the overlay? There we go. And then I'm going to have that like so to make this a nice little shelter. I mean, it's franchise, so it's allowed to use blueprints. Uh, <laughs> there's this kind of shelf in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the terrain in my favor now because I'm too lazy to. Kind of do it in a different way. So wait, that's still too big. Uh, I'll need another one for you. Um, let me just drag this all over the place here. That's gonna be it. Uh, Games book is about to mate. Okay, so they're, they're not doing as bad, right? It's all okay. It's all okay. Um, in order to bring them down, we might just consider having another ramp. And just adjust this a little bit. So... Here we go. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. And uh, yeah, we don't need this adjustment thing here. We can just delete all of these. Blah, 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 blah. I quite like uh, the shelf in here, to be honest. I like it. Uh, let me just put some bedding in here. It's going to flatten out this area even more. So let's say bedding. We need quite a bit of bedding in here. So this is uh, it. And then, oops. Can we have an, like, another bedding that goes just right next to here? Yeah, okay. Uh, God, no, I didn't want to do this. Uh, give me the drink. The drink uh, goes uh, if it works. Oh, yeah, awesome. That looks nice. We've done it on this side. And let's do it on the other side, too. Uh, where's the entrance? The entrance is here. So it's going to be... It's going to be... It's going to be quite good for the doll sheep. That's fine. We can leave it mostly as it is. I'm going to relocate this thing. And then we're gonna make this all a bit more flattened to that height here. So it's actually a little bit adjusted. So we can use that ramp here. That's awesome. Um, because then we finally have a purpose for that ramp. Um, oh no. Ba -ba -da. I'm gonna use a lot more soil. Because otherwise that looks stupid. So here we go. More soil. These things on the ground could actually also be deleted, but yeah, whatever. And then we get to habitat and bedding. There we go. Now the bedding goes to the back. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's put that bedding down here as well, so it doesn't look too bland with the with the shelf in here. I think it's fine. What the hell? This is like a, a huge little nubsy we don't need. Nope, that was wrong. Uh, what about so? Ah, uh, yeah, that is a lot better with this bit of a ramp in here. Uh, that's great. Now let's pause, unpause the game. I'm going to quickly move and see where one of my Dell Sheeps is. God, we have so many leg spikes right now here because of all the traversable area being adjusted. Where are my games? Uh, my, my freaking Dell Sheeps? There we go. That looks actually nice. Um, so, I need to see traversable area. Okay. Uh, wait, they can go up to the roof? How on earth are they doing that? They can climb everywhere. Um, I mean, it's fine. They can go to the roof. That's totally fine. Uh, I'm just adjusting the fence then. That is not a big deal. Um, I'm just going to do it that way. And then let me just raise the fence. It's totally fine. You know, I can, I can totally do this. I can totally do that because I don't want them to escape. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if that already improved it. I mean, it doesn't look nice though, but um, yeah. I think because I just want them to go on top of the roof, I, I don't see a reason why they shouldn't. 
Okay, they won't jump off here because they don't want to kill themselves. That's fine, <laughs> I guess. Uh, nothing else, right? It's all fine. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. These animals seem to be able to go in here. I don't need to check for the traversal area. Uh, the only thing I need to do is I need to do this into a steel mesh. Because then, yeah, it, it looks a million times better. Look at that. We do have these buildings in the back. And yeah, it, it really does look nice, doesn't it? We have all the games box living in here. And then the springbok and the pronghorn all together, happy ever after. No, I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, guys, that's that's where we ended. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of this edition. Uh, maybe I'm going to make some some work off screen, but I think we we did so much cool stuff here. Oh okay, god, we got some offspring. Let's have a look to the. Oh, oh um, really? Uh huh. Uh huh. Poof. <laughs> She's done. Okay, no, that's awesome. We got two new baby, two new babies, white li uh, white lion babies. That is so good. Okay, no, but anyways, um, we finished here. I will leave the game running until I finally have some some uh, some good weather to take at least a screenshot because that weather definitely does not give us any good way of making like a nice little screenshot here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you haven't seen the latest Planet Coaster episode yet, I highly recommend to watch it because it's on my channel right now and you can watch it. Um, I had a good, good time going back to it. And also I would um, highly suggest to watch my channel tomorrow. It's hump day, so quite cool hump day content will be available including a very nice Yosemite build um, which is playing with my hopes of what could be there in the future so yeah that's a little teaser for that but yeah make sure to have a good evening stay safe everyone and see you in the next one goodbye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out all my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRedCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.